After moving in my first three villagers and doing a lot of grinding for Nook Miles, we are here on day eight, where there's only one thing worth being excited for. Miss Isabel, she's back here to serve on the island. I'm so excited, here we go. Welcome back to Nook Tits, where as you can see, I've done a lot. So I've been doing a lot of playing off camera and this is me trying to get to three stars as quickly as we can. I basically did a lot of crafting, a lot of purchasing, and I plopped down every single item that I found just everywhere. There's also a whole ton of trees everywhere. We're trying to speed along as quickly as we can, which speaking of, do you guys think I have enough critters to donate to bladders after I hit three stars? I don't know. I feel like this might be enough, but it's hard to tell. It's now day eight on the island, and now that resident service is here, that means one thing. I have to sit through a whole bunch of dialogue once again. Hooray, they're just yapping, yapping away. If I'm in a yap off between Tom Nook and Isabel, I would forfeit. But more importantly, we're here because it's time for the most nerve wracking part of starting a new island, the campsite mission. He's basically doing all this so that he can get KK Slider's attention. I love that Tom Nook bought an island, hired some people to build it from the ground up and turn it into a place that people can live all so that he could finally get the attention of his fave. Like, I love that. That is exactly something I would do too. So like Tom Nook, you are so relatable. I can't even lie. But yes, Project K, we need more visitors. We need to make the island pretty and we need more villagers to come live on the island. So in order to do that, first things first, campsite. Give me the freaking recipe already. Thank you. The campsite requires 15 of each wood and 15 iron nuggets. And luckily for all of us, I did so much tree chopping and iron nugget hunting that we have more than enough needed. Actually, we just have enough iron nuggets, but besides the point, we don't have to do any major crafting after this, so it doesn't even matter. I'm gonna start using treasure islands as soon as I hit three stars too, so yay, no more grinding. Campsite is crafted and ready to go, and now, comes the most exciting part. Sitting through even more dialogue, baby. And the next day the campsite opened. Oh my freaking God, I forgot about this stupid happy home paradise. <laughs> it starts now. Girl, I'm trying to montage. I don't give a shit about Lottie and Happy Home Paradise. Thank you so much, Nintendo, for making this a lot. Oh my God, I don't care, I don't care. But aside from that, I sat through even more dialogue. And even though the campsite is finally unlocked, sadly, you don't get a campsite villager until the next day. And I ended up spending the rest of the day sitting through more dialogue. But after all that waiting, it's finally day 10, where more importantly, we have our first campsite villager please pray for me. It is here, the first campsite of Nook Tits 2.0, and we're just not gonna waste any time. We're gonna figure it out who it is together. Just don't be a flop and don't be ugly. Oh God, oh God. Oh my God. Are you, again? Of all the smug villagers, you had to give me this one for a third time, I've had 11 islands, 11 islands in Animal Crossing New Horizons, and three out of the 11, I had to get this villager, Huck, Huck, again? That is the most boring villager. How am I supposed to make this video exciting with the most boring smug villager in the game? I feel like I owe y'all an apology. Th the fact that some of y'all were probably super excited to see who my campsite villager was, and I ended up with that. At this point, I would have accepted Rodney. I would have accepted Hippo. Those could have been more exciting because even though they're horrible, <gasps> Leaf, oh my God. Hi, I'm so excited to see you at least. Thomas Nookington. 
You've disappointed me once again. Ugh, now I have to go back and try and convince Huck to live on the island because I forgot to do that when I was there because I was so distracted by his boringness that I just didn't want to be in the tent anymore. Oh my God, now I got to run back and forth and back and forth again. <laughs> I was so excited for this part. I really was. I was excited to see who my first campsite villager was going to be. And it had to be Huck of all people. What am I supposed to do with that? What am I supposed to do with this information huck is like a villager to me he's just somebody that's six for six villagers that are just there there hasn't been a single exciting villager living on this island yet huck is now once again a part of the angry coconut cinematic universe so we're gonna be moving him onto the island and going on from there. I, I would love to sit here and just like, you know, chat and like try to say something exciting and fun, but I just like, I can't. Like I, I he's just not something that's worth being any sort of emotion about, you know? Like I just, I have nothing, nothing to give. Sorry to any Huck stands if you happen to exist. Which, if you do, girl, really, like, of all the frog villagers in the game, Huck is the one you chose to stand. This is easily one of the most fuck-ass villagers in the game, and I think this fuck-ass villager deserves a fuck-ass spot. I'm gonna put him all the way in this back corner, away from everything and everyone. He's had more than enough screen time on this channel, more than enough being more than a minute. That's way more than he deserves. Um, so we're just gonna move on from there. Sadly, I have to talk to him one more time to let him know that he's um, actually moving on to the island, but that is so useless to this video at this point. I'm here to entertain, not bore you. So, um... Tomorrow. Oh, Phoebe is right at the doorstep of the government because she's ready to barge through and riot because Huck has moved on to the island today. Phoebe, where were you on January 6th? Oh, who said that? I didn't say that, whoa. Anyways, it's now day 11 on the brand new island. We gotten through the boring part of this video. Here comes the fun part. In order to get to three stars, we need to start inviting some villagers on the island. So yesterday I did get a plot from Tom Nook and I figured we can start the villager hunting process. Let's just plop down a plot right here. Who cares, it doesn't really matter. And in light of this very IDGAF mentality that I have right now, even though I have two tickets in my pockets, I think we're only gonna spend one ticket. We are going on a one ticket villager hunt today. Whoever I find on the first ticket is gonna be the villager that I move in. I highly doubt we're gonna find a dreamy on island number one, but speaking of, here we are on island number one, AKA the only island we're gonna be visiting today. And the seventh villager moving on to Nook Tits. Is that Maggie? <gasps> oh, oh, the game heard me complain. They said I was having too many flops. The game said no more. Maggie, Maggie. First of all, shout out to the Amanda Files. That's mother, literally. Maggie is a baddie. Maggie is an icon. Maggie is somebody I'm willing to move on to the island. Are you kidding me? She is amazing. She is legendary. She is the moment. She is that girl. And that girl, right there is the seventh villager of Nook Tits 2.0. Wow, that was a very quick villager hunt. I've never, oh, uh, uh, oh crap, we gotta, oh no, no, no. <laughs> and just like that, we already have villager number seven moving on to the island, Miss Maggie. And since I have one more Nook Miles ticket, let's just time travel to the next day, grab another plot, and do the exact same thing over again. It's now day 12 and let's not waste any more time, girl. Let's just plop down another plot on a random spot. Uh, here seems good. Sorry to this one tree that I'm about to get rid of, but with said plot placed down, we're gonna do the exact same thing I did like two minutes ago. Here we are on island number one. Again, the eighth villager moving on to Nook Tits 2.0 is, uh, is that Piper? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Miss Piper, a bird. And we're on the exact same island that we were on yesterday, okay. I will accept Piper because she's a snooty, she's a baddie, and I, 
have nothing against her. So, hell yeah, we'll take her. Wait, she's not a snooty, isn't she? She's a peppy villager. The only thing better than kicking back and chilling on an island would be to do it forever. Yeah, she's definitely a peppy villager. Oh God. We're about to have two peppies and two normals. Interesting. Miss Peter Piper picked a pick of pepple peppers is moving to Nook Tits. I've never actually had Piper before, so this is kind of fun. She is technically a villager that not a lot of people get hyped up for, but I think she's cool. I think she's fun. And of all the villagers on the island, yeah, she's literally the only one I've never had yet. I've had every single other villager on my island. So at least we have one exciting person moving on. That's a lie, we have two because I've had Maggie before back in New Leaf, but she she's a girl. She is definitely a villager worth keeping and another underrated villager, might I add. Y'all need to stop going for the popular villagers and get your own personalities. How hard is it to do that? Oh, today's the fishing tourney on the island because it's a Southern hemisphere. Ooh, I hope that doesn't disrupt anything. Today is also Puddles' birthday. Oh my God. Oh, Miss Girl. And uh, Piper's here. Whoa, too many things are happening today. Puddles, who we haven't actually talked to yet on camera, already celebrating her birthday. Oh gosh, we gotta get her a gift. Puddles is a pink villager, so her favorite color is probably pink. So I'm just gonna give her that tube top, who cares? Puddles is currently home celebrating her birthday. She literally moved onto the island like three days ago. And there's already a villager on this island who's willing to throw her a birthday party. And that villager, of course it's the other frog. Of course it's the other frog. It's Viss. Fantastic. Are you here to celebrate my awesome birthday? I mean, I guess. Hi, Puddles. Happy birthday. Um, yeah, girl. Don't worry. I totally have a gift for you right now. Stop talking so I can give it to you. Sorry I didn't wrap it, but, um, here. It's a shirt. I totally didn't just pick this up off the ground. I was so totally not expecting this. Thanks, Viss. You're welcome, underwear girl. I'm so happy that it's your birthday. Oh, and you get Nook Miles for that too. Wait, okay, so it was worth celebrating a birthday today. At least I got something in return. You, on the other hand. Bonjourno, Vis. Remember me? No. Anyways, one of my duties are to hype up Puddles on her birthday. I've actually never seen... That's funny. I've never actually, like, talked to a villager for the first time at a birthday party. That's, like, one of the rare things. I think to happen in Animal Crossing for anybody. So like, <laughs> that's so random. And the fact that they actually have unique dialogue for that. Okay, Nintendo, I see you. I see you putting in details where it doesn't really matter, but I appreciate them anyways. Now that we have eight villagers on the island and there's a lot of furniture everywhere, I wanna see if I can actually hit three stars because I've seen people online say that they managed to do it with eight villagers and I'm pretty sure it is possible, but like I've never actually done it before. And how crazy would it be if I get three stars right away? Oh my God, am I about to hit three stars immediately? As it stands, we, <laughs> oh my God. Are you kidding me? I have never hit three stars that quickly before. As it stands, we currently have a three star rating. We've built a solid reputation and come up during many a water cooler chit chat. Allow me to read an excerpt from the feedback I've gathered. Nook tits, man. Hearing about how chill it is, I'd go if I had the chance. This could have been one part. Oh my God, this video is gonna be so short. I can't believe it. We finally achieved our goal of bringing our island to the attention of the KK Slider, and he wants to come visit. Wow, thank God it's happening the day after the fishing tourney because, you know, at least CJ gets his time to shine too. How does Tom Nook already have his phone number? We will never know. But yeah, as a rundown for anybody curious how I managed to do that right away, every single item you get, place them down, whether it's a bug, whether it's flowers, trees, just do that. I'm pretty sure these critters over here are the main reason why I managed to hit three stars. Also another fun tip I like to do, buy 10 flowers every single day as soon as you're able to. I have so many flowers planted everywhere, um, pretty much all along a lot of my beaches. I think I've planted, hold on, we can see this. Yeah, I've planted over a hundred flowers. I don't think you need a hundred for 
three stars, but you buy 10 a day, 10 days, you get 100 flowers, more than enough. Also with trees as well, fruit trees, any kinds of trees. As soon as you learn a new recipe as well, try to craft it immediately. Chop down the trees on the mainland, which is, you know, the parts before the river. That's probably more than enough. Yeah, like that's pretty much what I did. You only need eight villagers. Clothes as well. Every single clothing item you buy from Mabel, plop them down on the beach. Oh, yeah. And by the way, um, Abel Sisters, she's unlocked. I unlocked her right away, as always. <gasps> and there's a bottle, the final bottle before the KK Slider concert. Who do we think it's from? Three, two, one. Carrie. Carrie Bradshaw. Right now on Nook Tits, it's January 14th. And there's one very special announcement. KK Slider is here, baby. Oh my God, and the gang is all here. The crowd is so small though, because there's only eight villagers. That feels weird. I've never seen it this small, but here we go. KK Slider, take it away, baby. And I really did all that to unlock terraforming. Obviously. Oh my God, Phoebe's here to be my hype girl as always. Thank you, Phoebe. Thank you for your approval. But just like that, we've made it. We officially have unlocked everything there is to unlock once you hit three stars. How fun that we did it together once again. Now, obviously the important stuff is done, but I figured as a fun way to end off the video because you know, it was a little unorthodox for me to only have so little villagers before we hit three stars. We do one more villager hunt. We're just gonna plop this house down right here. And with one nook ticket in my hand, who do we think the ninth villager on the island is? Here we are on the final island of the day and the villager moving in. Oh my God, we're on the same island once again. That's weird. But the, oh my God, is that clay? <gasps> Clay! I love Clay. Wait, wait, this is a perfect way to end the video. Clay was one of my besties in New Leaf, one of my babies. Yeah, he's a, he's a lazy villager instead of a cranky, that's fine. I love Clay so much. I don't care what anybody says, he's adorable and he is baby to me and I am so excited. This is the perfect way to end this video for me. I don't care what y'all think. Huh? You live on Nook Tits, right? Is it like this there too? Whoa, then I wanna go if your island's as cool as you. Oh. Oh my God, thank you, Clay, for the compliment. Oh, he knows exactly how to make a good first impression. Mm -hmm. And just like that, I've hit three stars on yet another island. And that's pretty much the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, next time y'all see me, ooh, for the next video, we're gonna play New Leaf. Finally, I've been promising that video for so long. It's about damn time it comes out. So if you're excited for that, let me know in the comments. And um, yeah, anyways, see you in like three months when I reset this island once again.